We present reliable full-body Gaussian codec avatars, the first full-body drivable avatar model that holistically captures the reliable appearance of the human body, face, and hands. Our learned avatars demonstrates convincing intrinsic property decomposition while generalizing well to both point light and environment light. Furthermore, our model also captures details such as faces and hands. We collect training data from our multi-view light stage system. The capture system consists of 512 high-resolution cameras. The setup includes zoom and cameras on faces, middle-range cameras on upper or lower bodies, and cameras that capture full-body images. It also contains 1024 controllable light sources with calibrated, known locations. The capture procedure generates interleaving fully lit frames where all light sources are on, and partially lit frames where only a random subset of light sources is on. We also generate 3D key points, semantic segmentation masks, and coarse track template mesh, which are necessary inputs for our model. The body and face key points are encoded into face and body latent codes. Our model takes body and face latent codes, viewing direction of the camera, and the track template mesh as inputs. We employ a view-dependent decoder and a view-independent decoder to predict geometry and appearance parameters of Gaussian primitives in UV space of the template mesh. To render the diffuse appearance, we learn a set of light transport coefficients that can be efficiently combined with known light sources to compute the diffuse shading. The diffuse shading is multiplied with learnable albedos to produce per Gaussian diffuse color, which is subsequently rasterized to screen space. For specular appearance, we employ a deferred shading scheme, in which we first rasterize learned roughness, visibility, and normals into the screen space and compute specular colors for each pixel in screen space. This results in more detailed specular highlights compared to standard rasterization of specular appearance. Lastly, we introduce a shadow network to predict fine-grained shadows and compose the final image taking specular appearance, diffuse appearance, and shadow into account. The model is optimized with photometric loss and auxiliary regularization losses. One key contribution of this work is to adopt learned radiance transport functions for articulated full bodies. Previous methods on human faces learn diffuse radiance transport function as a set of spherical harmonic coefficients. Human heads can always be put into a canonical coordinate frame. The light sources can be converted into this canonical coordinate frame, and thus the learned transport spherical harmonics do not need to consider the orientation of the head. However, in the case of full-body avatars, each body part has its own canonical coordinate frame. Ideally, we would like to have an orientation-dependent radiance transport function, where the transport spherical harmonics vary according to the orientation of the body part in the world coordinate. Since we use high-order spherical harmonics, explicitly rotating spherical harmonics would be prohibitively expensive as it has a cubic amortized time complexity. To achieve an orientation-dependent radiance transport function, we introduce learnable zonal harmonics to replace the commonly used spherical harmonics. Zonal harmonics define a subset of spherical harmonics that is circularly symmetric around the z-axis. In zonal harmonics, each frequency band is modeled by a single coefficient, regardless of the polynomial degree. Since zonal harmonics only define a subset of spherical harmonics, they result in reduced expressiveness. To overcome this shortcoming, we employ multiple sets of zonal harmonics. 
One straightforward parameterization is to construct three sets of zonal harmonics and associate them respectively with the three columns of the Gaussian rotation matrix. We also propose a learnable shadow network that can predict fine-grained shadows from coarse estimations. Specifically, we use ray tracing on the base mesh template to compute normalized incoming irradiance from all light sources. These irradiance values are converted into UV space and are used as the input to a learned shadow network. The shadow network predicts fine-grained shadows that correspond to the actual Gaussian geometry. Since we train our models with light stage data, there is no need to explicitly supervise the shadow network, and the shadow network generalizes naturally to environment map relighting thanks to our normalization scheme. We now present qualitative results by first comparing our full model against various ablation baselines. We demonstrate that the proposed zonal harmonics achieve more realistic rendering results, especially on highly articulated body parts such as arms. Without zonal harmonics, the basic spherical harmonics tend to have baked-in shadows. We also construct a physically-based rendering baseline that struggles to capture complex effects such as subsurface scattering and global illumination. This example clearly shows that without the shadow network, the learned radiance transport function struggles to capture shadows cast by body articulation. We also show that deferred shading helps improve details on specular highlights. The physically based rendering model renders a less realistic skin appearance while resulting in generally darker images due to the lack of global illumination modeling. Lastly, we demonstrate relighting results on unseen poses for both point light and environment light.
Thank you for watching.